the next picture that we're going to work on is a mountain lion that I photographed and what's really nice about this picture is that the graphics look really good. The shape of the mountain lion, the extension of the tail, gives me a really nice shape. The background sky was pretty bleak, obviously. So I thought it might be interesting to do a poster art image of this picture. And to do that, we're going to take this image, which is not a silhouette now, and turn it into a silhouette. In this particular case, because the background is so uniform, it's very easy to select it with the magic wand tool. So I click on that and I'm on a tolerance of 32, which is the Photoshop default. And wow, in one click, I got the entire thing, except of course between the legs. And I will add that. So holding the shift key down to add to my selection, I click in here and then here and then here. Now the entire background is selected. If I want to turn the mountain lion into a silhouette, I'm going to go select, uh, right here, select, inverse. Now the rocks and the mountain lion are selected and the background is not. So when the background color is black and, and a silhouette is going to be black, all you have to do is hit the delete key or the backspace key on a PC and you have an instant silhouette. Now let's go back to the white background. So we go select inverse and if we wanted to put this against a, a would-be dramatic sunset, let's fill this area with a red orange like a like a flaming sky so we'll choose in our foreground box oh let's say uh, let's say a color like that now how do we fill this very easy edit fill we choose the foreground color because we have our foreground color right there. We want 100% opacity, normal mode, go OK. And let's deselect, select, deselect. And there's a very graphic image. Now, if we want to put a sun in the background, let's go to the rectangular marquee tool. And hiding beneath that is the elliptical marquee tool right there. If you hold the Option key down or the Alt on a PC and you draw a circle, the, the sun starts to form, or I should say the selection starts to form, where you begin to click. Okay, let, let me deselect that. If you hold down the Shift key, you have a perfect circle. This is how you can prescribe a perfect circle by holding the shift key down on either a Mac or PC. And so let's make it a really nice round sphere. If we want to move this sphere, we can click on the marquee tool and move it wherever we want. Okay, move it around like that. Let's put it right there. Now how do we make this into a yellow sun or a yellow white sun? The same way as we fill the background, we click on the foreground box color or it could be background. In fact, let's do that. Let's click on the background this time. It's now black. Let's choose yellow and we'll choose, you know, like a yellow white. Well, we could actually be a little more stylized. Let's go right there. Now the yellow color is in our background. So we do the same thing as we did before. Edit, fill. This time we choose the background color right there. And we go OK and there's our sun. We, we deselect and now we have a 
poster style graphic image. What makes a picture like this really good is you have to have a strong graphic design. The graphic design can't be busy, confusing, out of focus. There's nothing worse than a out of focus silhouette. Has, every aspect of this has to be sharp. Very simple graphic design and that is what's going to make a really strong poster image. So notice that the background is not even a photograph. One thing that I would suggest, let me see, um, well, here, what I like to do, this image has no grain to it, has no digital noise at all. You could keep it that way, but if you want to give it a little bit of realistic uh, texture that typically comes from either a digital file or film, you could add just a little bit of noise. And I'm going to add noise to the whole picture because the black is filled in solid color. This is solid and that's solid. Let's do that. Let's go filter, noise, add noise. And I'm going to add, I, I feel that between four and five looks really realistic. I'm going to do a 4.3. I go, okay. And now when I blow this up, you see, it's very subtle, but it looks like it was taken in the camera instead of made entirely digitally. So now I go file, save as, give it a unique name. We'll call it mountain lion silhouette and save it to my desktop. And that's it.